Look at this guy. <laughs> I like this one the best out of them all, especially because of his plaid hat. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Or yours, or yours, or yours, or yours. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are in Venice, Florida, and we are about to go in this awesome big lots here. Look at these palm trees and see what they have for Christmas. All right, let's venture in the big lots. Look at this right in the door. We have some, I, I guess it's pajamas. Let's get nuts. And look at this one, professional gift opener. Okay. Okay, we got some more over here. Merry and bright. Don't stop believing. Oh, I see. That's Snoopy. And then we got the one with the holiday armadillo from Friends. And what's this? Believe. Wait a minute. What in the world? We're seeing a lot of records this year, guys. And look at this. The Charlie Brown Christmas uh, soundtrack. That is sweet. I don't have a record player, but I could buy one right there. And if I did, I would definitely get that. Look, we even have Elvis. I don't think that's a Christmas album, though. Hmm, okay. Hello, Christmas bear. This guy is actually pretty cool. Look, he has the plaid hat. He even has plaid feet. And then he has a plaid blanket with him. Oh, and it looks like we have Santa here, too. He has some plaid, but it's not black and red. It's white and red, so that's still pretty cool. Those are like movie-watching buddies. Kind of surprised that I don't see any, like, Christmas trees or anything. However, I do see those fake snowballs back here that you have a snowball fight with indoors. Yeah, look at these. I think we just saw these at, like, Kohl's or something. Of course, they're probably cheaper here. It's 10 bucks for a set of 20 of these, and they're fake snowballs, and you have a snowball fight in the house. It would be so cool just to buy all of those and have a huge snowball fight. Look at this. It's a snowball shield, too. I thought it was, like, a, uh, a pool float because I am in Florida, so that wouldn't be too strange, but it's actually a snowball fight shield. Okay, this is strange. We have a set of 20 snowballs here for 10 bucks, but then down here, we have a whole uh, bucket of them for 10 bucks, and there's only 15. It looks like they might be a little bit bigger, though. Okay, here we go. Lots more Christmas stuff down here. I knew it would be hiding somewhere. Let's go start with this Grinch that's standing down here waiting for us. Hello, Mr. Grinch. He's an animatronic. Animated Grinch, four feet high, moves hips and turns head, speaks phrases, and plays you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. All right, let's try it. He's plugged in. He's got a button. Uh-oh. That is awesome. I'm sorry, Mr. Grinch, that we can't listen to your whole song. That would be a copyright issue. That is pretty cool, though. For a hundred bucks, a singing and dancing Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Look at this. They have a Grinch blow mold, too. That is cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Grinch blow mold before. So I don't see a price on him anywhere. None of them over there have prices. Wait, let's check the bottom. 30 bucks, guys. Check this out. I told you before I used to sell on eBay for a living. These sell right now for up to 140 bucks each on eBay. Yes, Mr. Grinch, you could bring a lot of Christmas goodness. So let's come back over here and look at these again, because I did notice that they also have our truck with the tree in the back. You gotta love it. Ooh, it's a tiny. Oh, look, how cool is that? The tree lights actually light up. I love that. We've got snowman blow molds and a big candy cane and a giant, this is cool, a giant candle. Those are cool. Of course, we have the Grinch and our trucks. And then we have a Mickey Mouse over here, a Mickey Santa. And then we have trees down here, Christmas trees. Oh, that's kind of heavy, actually. Looks like we have some inflatables down here. We'll get to those in a minute, but check out the trees, guys. The Christmas trees. Yes, I love them. Look at this one right here. It's silver, and it has a bustier on top. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's what you call it or not. It looks like a mannequin with angel wings. What in the heck? That is the strangest tree I've ever seen, I think. And here's a gold one over here, too. Gold and white. And it's, well, it's almost the same thing. It has, like, the mannequin form, the woman's dress form on top there. Okay, that's kind of strange. Look at this. We have a flocked pink tree here. That's a small one. That's four feet tall. That's the kind of thing that I need in the RV. 
That's like all that would fit in there because I actually have to put it on my driver's seat, but I don't want a pink tree. Here we go. This is what I need. Just a little green tree. That one's four feet tall and it's pre-lit. It has the, uh, the lights already on it. Here's a white one. I do like the white one. That would brighten it up in there actually. And this one here is also four feet and it's uh, flocked, but I don't like this thing here. Maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe that would look better than just like the regular tree stand like that. But I do like the white one the best, I think. All right, we got a couple more here that are just a little bit taller. Ooh, this one's all lit up. And then here's an awesome flocked one here. That one looks really cool. And look at this one. It's like a rainbow tree. It actually reminds me of like an Indian headdress with all the different colored feathers. That is pretty cool. Hello, Mr. Snowman friend. Here's one that has berries. It's pre-lit and it has berries and pine cones on it. Where did I see the pine cones? I swear I saw pine cones on this thing. Now they're hiding. This is just a basic one here, 115. That's not too bad. How tall is that thing? Seven feet tall. It's pre-lit, kind of skimpy, but there's plenty of space for lots of ornaments on there. Oh, and look over here. We have a Christmas dog. Hello, pupster. Hey, we got a button, okay. Look, the lights on his hat light up. How cool is that? You're a friendly Christmas pupster. Here's a big lantern with a try me button that people have destroyed. <laughs> Does it work? Oh, there we go, yeah. The lights in there light up. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Here's a nice flocked tree. This one also is pre-lit. The only problem with pre-lit trees is that when the lights go out, then you're stuck with a tree that have a ton of lights on it. And you have to put more lights on that you buy after the fact. And then, like, you either have to go through and cut all these lights out or just deal with them being there. Okay, here's a tree that's not a tree. <laughs> this is one of these that would actually look good outside after dark when it lights up because you wouldn't be able to tell that there's no branches all you see are the lights and it just gives the form of a tree here's our wire reindeer friends i usually don't like these too much but i do like these because they're white i think that looks much better than the brown ones however if it's snowing they're not going to show up very well all right light up for us reindeer there's a long yeah there we go there's a long wait between each time that it lights up does look pretty cool though we got the nativity set over here. Oh, look at this tree. I think we looked at this one last year too. This is pretty cool. All these light up. I haven't, does it light up too? All right, let's wait for a minute. Yeah, look at that. That looks pretty cool actually. That would be another one that looked really cool outside. All right, we got our snowman family over here and a plethora of plaid snowmen and Santas. Hello, Santa. Oh, hello, waving guy. And we have this fun stack of snowmen here with this one doing a headstand on top. Oh, look at this one. It says Joy with a big snowman. And then we got our candy cane and our Grinch. We got another one of these that was, yep. The candles light up inside and I love this white tree, guys. Look at this thing, seven and a half feet tall. It's not lit up, but is it pre-lit? Um, yeah, there it goes. I don't know why these have, they have these on like a timer where they're just periodically lit up. Cause look at that, the lights go out and it kind of sucks. Maybe it's just a way to save on the electric bill or something. Just have them flashing and turning off every few minutes. But anyways, here's a couple of cool ones here. Look at this tall one here, seven feet tall and it's very thin. That would only fit in my RV if I didn't have a seat in there <laughs> or if I had somewhere else to put it, but I just don't. Sparkly candy canes. Oh, and look at these. These are the pine cones that smell like cinnamon. These are so strong. <laughs> I definitely need to get some of these for the RV, make it smell really good and Christmassy in there. Oh, look at this. This is a plaid tree collar that you put around the bottom of the tree. It's 26 bucks and it comes in two pieces and you put it together so it goes around the whole bottom of the tree all the way around. And I noticed they have a, gr a red one down here too. Yep, same thing, only that one's red. Oh my gosh, look, we have the solar bobbleheads. And the first thing I notice is the Christmas tree leg lamp. Look, the top bobbles around. That's pretty cool. And then we have an awesome bobblehead Grinch here. You gotta love the Grinch, man. Those are actually solar powered, so that little thing there absorbs the sun 
and makes the head bobble. I love these tree skirts here, especially the red and black plaid one. I love that so much. And then there's a white and black plaid. And look at these. I think these are all tree. Are these tree toppers? Yeah, these are tree toppers. Look at this guy. <laughs> I like this one the best out of them all, especially because of his plaid hat. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Or yours, or yours, or yours, or yours. Hello, gnome. We're getting to the inflatables down here, but look at this. First, I noticed Bumble, a pre-lit yard art display, and he's furry. I'm surprised they don't have any of them set up up here. However, they do have this hedgehog and we have an elf and a snowman up here look his sign says santa stop here and of course we have the red truck with the christmas tree in the back gift box sets we've seen some of these over by the trees that were set up there pathway markers a little drummer bear oh and we have rudolph too i didn't see him set up anywhere all right let's look at some of these inflatables here we got the grinch Seems to be a lot of Grinch inflatables out there nowadays. Look, he's holding colored stockings. He's six and a half feet tall. We have an inflatable elf with a sign that says Santa stop here. Oh, look, they have the Grinch buddy. He inflates and then sits in the seat beside you in the car while you drive down the highway. I don't think I've seen this anywhere else, guys. Then we have a Nutcracker, a Santa, a Santa in his sleigh with a reindeer. And that appears to be all the inflatables. Unless there's one hiding back here. And it looks like just the same stuff we've already seen. I remember my mom and my grandma having these. It's like a, yeah, that's ceramic. It's a ceramic tree and these little lights, they appear to all be glued in there. But I remember my grandma's, they were always coming out. There's a button. Yep, look at that, it lights up. Pretty cool, but they're heavy and hard to store. Four-piece hanging LED snowflakes. Ooh, that's got a try me button too. Let's try it. Ooh, cool. I like that. Oh, and here's a whole bunch of rainbow stuff on the end here. Look at this. This actually looks pretty cool. Rainbow ornaments that say ho, ho, ho. And look, they even have rainbow hats on them. <laughs> what in the world? This one actually looks like a hot air balloon. It's just rainbow ornaments, like striped, but it, yeah, it looks like a hot air balloon. This is a strange one. This almost looks like some kind of a scientific model. Here's some more that have snowflakes and a rainbow joy. Even a rainbow tree topper star. Oh, look at this one. I almost missed this. It's little white Christmas trees with rainbow ornaments on them. That is pretty cool. And what in the world is this? Rainbow dancing uh, reindeer, I guess. That's very strange. Okay, now this is cool. These are Christmas bed sets for your bed. Look, they have flannel sheets. Ooh, those feel pretty comfortable too. And then up here you even have the ones with the truck and the tree. And then a Christmas popster. Look at this. You can put a Christmas popster on your bed. Home for the holidays. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then this one just has a whole bunch of Christmassy uh, sayings on it. Ooh, that's soft. Oh, look, we missed the plaid ornaments over here. They have white and black plaid ornaments. And then my favorite, the red and black plaid ornaments. Those are cool. And look, they have plaid bows with holly. Look at this. We even have a snowman with plaid scarves on. That is cool. I love it. And look here, guys. We even have dachshunds that are wearing plaid sweaters. That's the black and white, and this is the black and red here. Look at that. That's hilarious. Lots of wrapping paper, and look at this, guys. At first glance, I thought this was Halloween wrapping paper. A black cat and a white ghost. But look at this. It's actually Christmas, and that is a dog. I was looking at the dog's butt. Look, this is cool. They have Grinch wrapping paper. Who hash? Oh my gosh, they have a who hash sign. That's so funny. And look at this one. More Grinch. I thought Sam was on this one. Yeah, there he is. There's Sam the dog. Is his name Sam? I think so. Grinch. Grinch. I thought I saw a third kind. Hmm, maybe not. Christmas story. Blue's Clues. You gotta love Blue's Clues. Look, they even have Christmas Vacation with Clark Griswold. Look, they have elf wrapping paper. Oh my gosh, look. It's the Arctic Puffin. Is this? Yes, Nightmare Before Christmas. Look at that. And they have zero on it. 
But look at this. On Zero, they gave him a red nose, like a reindeer, instead of his little pumpkin nose. Unfair. You're going back. Ah, oh, yes, and one of my favorites, Charlie Brown Christmas. God, I love Charlie Brown. <laughs> they have tons of Christmas stuff all the way down these aisles. We'll come back to those, though. Let's go over here for a minute, because I saw fun Christmas candy. I think it's right, yes, right down here by the Grinch. All right, let's look at some of these. Okay, this is just too funny. Elf on the Shelf chocolate. That's one big piece of chocolate. It's hollow. Chocolate Rudolphs. And look, we have Christmas Pez. How cool is that? It even comes with a bunch of Pez. Christmas Marshmallow Peep Trees. Bracelets and necklace. These are actually pretty tasty. Christmas Kinder Joy. These are delicious. Look at this. They're still shaped like eggs, but they're for Christmas. Rudolph Lip Pops. You put that... There's the pop thing. You put it in your mouth, and then you have Rudolph Lips. M&M and Kisses Candy Canes. Fruity Pebbles Snowman. What in the world? I bet that thing is delicious. I love Fruity Pebbles. Chocolate Stocking Puppies. Ooh, look at this peppermint bark. This stuff is so good. Whole bag of chocolate money. Holy crap, I want to buy a bunch of these and save them for a Goonies movie night. Starburst, Mike and Ike's, Snow Caps. Oh, look at this. We have Hershey's Sugar Cookie Candy Bars. What in the world? A bag of coal for all you baddens out there. What is this? A holiday gingerbread pooper man. <laughs> Okay, apparently that's his multicolored poop, and you put it in his butt, and he hops along and poops. Oh, look, they have different ones, too. Here's a reindeer, and then it looks like they have a penguin down here. Hello, Happy Feet. Is your new name Happy Butt? Chocolate Rudolph. Okay, what is this? Ooh, chocolate stirring spoons. You use this in your hot chocolate, and it makes your hot chocolate even more hot chocolatey. Oh, and the best ever, Reese peanut butter trees. These are absolutely delicious. Oh, here's another whole bag of money, too. It's like fake $10 bills. Wait, there's hundreds in there and fifties? That's cool. I wish that was real money. Look, it's a Home Alone lovely cheese pizza just for me. Giant box of peppermint bark. That would be so delicious. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm getting fatter just looking at all this stuff. What the heck? Donut? Skillet? I could go for a donut. Look at this. The Perfect Man Solid Milk Minis. He really does exist. Six pack of cotton candy samplers. Yum. Wait, look at this. Giant cotton candy up here. Vanilla Snow and Cherry Berry. Heck yes. Moose Munch Popcorn? What in the world is this? Rolled wafers filled with peppermint bark? Oh my gosh, they can't give me enough delicious options. Eh, yeah, not into those. Oh, here's the individual perfect man hot chocolate bombs. You put him in your hot chocolate like it's a hot tub. And of course, the giant delicious tin of Royal Dansk cookies. These are so good. All right, let's get out of the candy here for a little bit. Look at all this different kinds of tinsel here. So many different colors. Look at this one. I love this one. Although you're already going to have lights, colored lights on your tree, so you don't really need that. But there's a cool red one and a blue one and a white one. This must be the sparkly aisle. Everything is sparkly. Look at this. Look at this multicolored wreath. That is pretty cool. Even sparkly colored bells. Oh my gosh. All right, we're taking a detour here. I don't eat cereal very often, but guys, what the heck? This looks like it would be so good. Sugar cookie toast crunch. Look at that. I can taste the milk. And what in the world? A ginormous box of golden grams. I can't take it. Okay, let's head down this way and look at all the Christmas stuff down here, or at least some of it. There is way too much in this store to look at all of it. Big Lots is killing it this year, guys. Hello, squatting reindeer friend. This is a pretty cool sign. Joy, I love the plaid. I don't know why I like plaid so much. It's just awesome. These are some strange wicker tabletop presents. Kind of cool, though. Okay, look at this. This is a countdown to Christmas, and you take the small wreath, and you hang it on whatever number it is, like right there.
All hearts come home for the holidays. Oh, look, there's a pupster in the back of that one. There's pupster friends all over the place here. Look at this one. Two pupster friends in that one, and then on this pillow too, home for the holidays. Hello. Merry Christmas tablecloths. This one's pretty cool. And soap dispensers. Look, it's even a pupster soap dispenser. Look, there's even Christmas shower curtain sets that you can get. Oh, look at this wel welcome mat here. It's shaped like the truck. That is awesome. I love that. Look, we have Christmas Vacation Clark Griswold cards. Those are cool. And Elf. Look at this. I almost missed these. Santa! I know him! And they have Ralphie. I almost missed this one too. Christmas Story. Ralphie in the pink bunny suit. All right, let's check out this one. We got a lot of bows. Awesome plaid bows bows galore more bows and more bows and more bows all kinds of christmas gift bags and what's down here oh stickers gift tags these are kind of cool i like the white ones lots and lots of ribbons of different shapes and colors and sizes look at this one this is like a rope ribbon Look at that, it's like a white rope. It almost looks like it's supposed to light up. And then you have the giant one, and I can't not pull out this. The giant red and black plaid gift ribbon. That's a pretty big uh, roll of it too. I'm not sure what you would do with it, but all kinds of ornaments and stuff all the way down here. Let's take a look at some of these. Oh look, right in front of me, it's an N stocking. It's not plaid like I was looking for at Kohl's the other day, but it still has an N. Here's some plaid ones, but no letters on them. And here's a bunch of things to make your own little Christmas villages, and they have buttons. Uh-oh. Ice skaters. Oh, look, here's Santa with his uh, reindeer. That's pretty cool. What's this one? Snow globe. Christmas carolers. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We got some more ice skaters on this one. I like how they actually go around. They could have done that cheaper. Um, lighted village accessory. Oh, okay, it's people snowing, or people sledding. Look at this one. It's a campfire in the snow. Holy crap. I think every one of these light up. Oh, that's cool. Look, there's Santa on the top, too. I didn't see that. That's cool. Popcorn wagon. Oh, sweet. Look at the popcorn. <laughs> oh, and you have to have the beer truck for Christmas. Oh, my gosh. What is this one? Oh, we've already seen this one, I think. Little ice skaters, yeah. Here we go. This looks like a carousel. Oh yeah, cool. Look at that little ticket booth down there too. Oh, and we have a big snow uh, ski lodge hill thing. <laughs> you know what to call it. That's cool though. It looks like the skiers are skiing down the hill. A little Ferris wheel. Look at that. That's cool. And then we have the, I can't even think of what you call this, another carousel. Santa. And they're on reindeer instead of horses. Oh, look at this one. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's like something you see at Atlantic City on the boardwalk. And here's a big ornament. Ooh. That's cool. Look how big that thing is, big as my hand. They have a lot of awesome ornaments for your tree. Look at this. Mittens, a Santa shirt, or a coat, I guess it would be. A snowman, a, a candy cane, two candy canes in that one. And if you don't like the red, they have blue. Oh, I love these. Look at this, the red plaid. It says merry and bright. And I love these kinds here where they have like the fake snow inside them. Those are so cool. I've said this before, but these are the kind of ornaments that you could have fun at home making. If you found just the plain, uh, empty, clear ornaments, you could make them yourself. Put the snow in yourself, paint them like that. Oh, we have more stockings here too. The Mandalorian, the Grinch, Paw Patrol, another Mandalorian, Paw Patrol. Whoops, we got Frozen back here. 
All right, guys, we're going to call it a day in the big lots. They have tons of awesome stuff here. There's no way I could have shown you everything, but I did try. And there's a lot of people in here, too. So when they're in the aisles, I really can't film. But all right, let's take off. Bye-bye, favorite snowman head. All right, guys, that's it for this big lots. I really wanted to see all the animatronics in there. They had a the little plush animatronics, but there was just so many people in that aisle, I couldn't even do it. So I'll try to get to another big lots because they do have a ton of them. Mm -hmm.